Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and we will continue our lessons in Python scripts in under Orange Data Mining. And today we will talk about part two of Advanced Python. So I will go directly, and I will show you. I prepared a few examples for you. I will explain all these examples in details, so you understand exactly what's happening. The first thing I want to show you is uh, you, as you know from file, you can connect to Titanic to tab. And uh, these are the fields, uh, as you can see from Titanic, we have status age six and we have survived yes or no. So uh, the data uh, uh, set itself, you can uh, show it in a data table. Uh, so these are the survived yes or no, status first, second, third, uh, or uh, crew status, age adult or child, and we have the sex, male or female. Uh, the question can I from Python access this data set directly and start working on this and do some classification and access the learner for example the answer is yes this is the first example we will talk about which is Python script in Python what I done is the following uh, we have data data equal orange to data to table Titanic this is the name of the uh, data set that is uh, in the same location of the data sets in orange data mining so i'm using or i'm dealing with uh, titanic okay learner i gonna use orange dot classification dot logistic regression learner so this is our learner this is our model and this is our algorithm and uh, classifier uh, equal learner dot data so we done the classification so the classifier we done uh, logistic regression on what logistic regression in uh, the data which is titanic so i can print out now a few things if i do run let's these are the results so print name of the classifier we can just put the orange classifier logistic regression learner which is what logistic regression this is the name of classifier so i'm printing the classifier name here okay second thing print classifier data of zero uh, with orange classifier dot model dot value uh, probabilities probes and this is the outcome this is from the first instance this is the classifier for results as in probability as in probability the third one i can uh, print the name of the variable uh, of uh, the cl classifier variable dot name this is as you can see data dot domain dot class underscore var it will give me the class variable class variable and here is the name so this is the survived or not survived Sur survived is the classifier uh, in the uh, as you can see from here this is the survived 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 is the classifier is our target i mean okay and then uh, so we print out the uh, variable uh, which is the classifier name and then we can print the class variables for the var dot values uh, here we put the uh, names here the values the values are yes no as you can see from this one so these are the yes no variables okay as you can see from here this is the yes no for this target okay and uh, also we can print the classifier dot data so this is the classification classifier zero 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 yes i means yes yes no 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 etc okay uh, and uh, i can pass the data to output so you can see it here and these are the values the same as previous but here the the idea is really to access the uh, data set to access the classifier i wanted to use which is logistic regression we done the classification we access the cl uh, class variable the target name and the values and also we uh, printed the values of the classifier the values of the classifier and we done the classification classification using uh, applied on data of course the classifier is the learner and the learner is the logistic regression so this is how you access the, uh, the data set and access the learner which is the logistic regression within Python script as you can see here this is the first example let's move to the second example in the second example we will create a new data set and we will do a few things here. Uh, the data set we will create, uh, we will um, have uh, different uh, features. So I'm importing orange and from orange.data I'm importing everything. The color, this is a feature. Okay, this is the feature. So this is the first feature in this data set. It's discrete values. Discrete means 
specific values so um, the discrete values of the color okay values the name is color and the values are orange green and yellows so this is not a continuous value this is discrete values so we have a specific categorical values we name it discrete values so the first uh, attribute or the first uh, feature is the color it has three values orange green and yellow the second feature is calories how many calories uh, in this fruit so this is a continuous value and the name is ca uh, calories so it, ca it can be 1 2 1.2 etc uh, fiber uh, the value of the fiber which is continuous vi vi variable also and the last one is the uh, class which is the fruit so this is discrete value so the fruit is the name and it's going to be either orange apple and peach okay so we have three uh, values for the uh, first three features so the first three features uh, will indicate all these uh, features attributes and the last one is the classifier so how we ca can create the domain that we will say domain equal uh, uh, a note here is uh, python is case sensitive so domain small letter is different from domain capital letter so you need to be careful with uh, writing python so we created the domain the structure of the data set by using the color calories and fiber as features okay these are the features and the class vari vari variable is fruit the class variable is, is fruit which is this one so now we will create sample data so data equal table dot form list uh, underscore list domain is the my structure and these are the values so green um, uh, is the color color is for 1.2 is the fiber and the class is gonna be apple the second one will be orange the third one will be beach etc and so on and so forth this is the data set so let's do classification and let's do to access for example the tree learner so I'm, I'm gonna print the data this is print it printed the data this is how it print all data as you can see and the learner we're gonna use origin classification tree learner we're gonna use tree classifier so we say tree dot tree learner of data so we done the classification here so we will print uh, a tree of tree the learner of green 3.5 and 2 this is we done the training here this is the training uh, we uh, said that the tree is so our tree equal tree underscore learner so we are training the data on this learner and here we do classification for this instance for this instance so we have green 3.52 what will be this record is it orange beach or uh, apple so print the uh, print the classification one and the value is from the classifier is apple so this is apple so we done a uh, training okay we done training we done uh, classification uh, but initially we constructed this data set and we put all these values as in data set and in this lesson it's actually very comprehensive example because it, we learned how to create data set how to create all the features the classes uh, how we create the domain and then we created the data set itself as in values instances and we chosen we've chosen the tree learner and also we done the training and here we done the classification on specific instance and we've seen the result that this instance is apple so this is a very good uh, comprehensive example on how to access the learner how to create data set etc etc so this is the second example the third example which is very um, uh, very interesting is we're going to use corpus this is the corpus so i will use the grim tail selected uh, the uh, title is title and the uh, text use is content okay is use content so can i access this corpus of course i can if i open this one what we will be doing is simple thing we first gonna run uh, pre-processing and to we're gonna extract the tokens so the tokens are for each document in in data like this is the input data and now we are using documents because we are dealing with corpus uh, see see this is document so it will be gonna go through every single document in this corpus so for each uh, document in the corpus uh, split doc dot split uh, uh, and go through all the tokens and the print tokens print tokens and it, this is uh, the, the tokens in this in all these documents so these are the tokens so 
Uh, after we've done the, uh, uh, the tokens, we extracted the tokens, we can see that output object equal input data. So now we are dealing with objects, so the output object is equal input data, and the output object, object to store under uh, uh, score tokens are tokens. Uh, by doing this, we are passing the tokens into the uh, and the, the data we dealt with into the uh, objects, the objects. And now we can connect the word cloud, word cloud into Python. And here we can select the object to Corbus, object to Corbus, and this is the result. So we extracted the tokens, okay, by using Python. And this is very interesting and very nice example that will illustrate the strength in Python. Uh, and orange data mining if you combine both how you can uh, deal with uh, this core bus this document and in just a single single statement few statements you can access the core bus the tokens you can do it the way that you want so this is the beauty of using uh, python within the other uh, uh, widgets like core bus word cloud etc the last example is the same thing, but we're gonna use import documents. Import documents, we're gonna use the mini data set that we used before, okay? You can find it in uh, the GitHub. And uh, what we will do, also we will do the same example, the same literally example. We will extract the tokens from, from the documents, but it's gonna be import documents. And we, as you can see, this is the result uh, from this word cloud. See, this is the result from the word cloud. So we were able to connect uh, Python to the import document the same way we done it for Corbus and we extracted the tokens, okay? And these are the tokens you can uh, see it here in the word cloud. And also this is a Corbus viewer, is, as you can see. The, this is the original uh, Corbus viewer. Uh, and maybe let, let's actually, let's from here, um, go into uh, see how um, other objects would react. Uh, Corbus, Corbus viewer. Let's the data to Corbus. Okay, and there is no data because yeah, I did not pass the data into the output, so it should be object to Corbus. Let's just pass them to object and see the results. And these are the results. See, so we connected the other objects to. Python, Python became now a corpus because it has objects and I pass the objects here from objects to corpus and you can view it here. Very interesting actually, I, I hope that all uh, the people who um, followed uh, my lessons now understand the importance of uh, using Python inside Orange Data Mining uh, if you need to do customization. This is the beauty of Python. This is the beauty of Orange Data Mining. If you combine both, you will have a weapon, a weapon uh, that yani, you can use to uh, use in your thesis, in your, um, uh, in your uh, uh, research, in your work, whatever area you are working with, you can really use Python scripts uh, and along with Orange Data Mining. Now, this is the lessons uh, for uh, this series. Uh, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I will also wait for uh, other features to come in Orange Data Mining. Uh, we reached 67 lessons, uh, but uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, there will be new widgets uh, to come. Uh, I am also very interested in waiting to get the uh, deep learning components uh, and widgets, specifically for uh, CNN, LSTM, RNN, etc. So I think it will take some time for them, but uh, eventually they will be there. And once they release it, I can uh, give you more examples in uh, Orange Data Mining. By this, I completed this uh, series uh, for now, but uh, if any new widget uh, uh, or new feature uh, that can uh, that can be released from Orange Data Mining. I will do a few lessons to explain uh, these features for you. I hope that you enjoyed my lessons in English. Uh, I hope that I uh, passed the information in a proper way uh, to you. Uh, if there are any mistakes, uh, it wasn't meant. Uh, I tried really to dig down into the documentation of Raj Data Mining to try it myself. It took me really a very hard work to, to, to go into every detail and see how, thing, how things will work in a proper way. So the purpose from this series is really, really to pass it to everybody in Earth. To, for them to really uh, start using Orange Data Mining because it's very 
very string very strong uh, tool uh, that you can use uh, very easy to use very flexible and it's free you can use it you can analyze your data uh, and till we get more widgets and more uh, features uh, enjoy orange data mining and python uh, if uh, if i can i might do some lessons in python specifically in python uh, in english language because i done it in other language and also I done AI in, uh, and data science in other language, but uh, hopefully I can have the time to do Python and AI uh, purely by Python uh, uh, in the coming period. Till then, enjoy uh, working with um, the artificial intelligence. This is the future and uh, enjoy it. Thank you very much and bye.